Hello, I'm Jonathan Hallam. Welcome to Glowworm. In this session, we're going to talk about how to repressurize your Glowworm appliance. Why would you repressurize it? Perhaps you've been bleeding the radiators, or you've had a leak, or maybe you've even taken a radiator off for decorating purposes. When do you know when to repressurize your system? Perhaps it's flashing 00, zero or F22. Ideally, your appliance should have one bar of pressure in the system. This is for the system to work most efficiently and durable. So how to repressurize? So in this appliance in question, the energy has a filling loop built in underneath. So underneath the appliance, you have two handles. So here we have the built-in filling loop. So in this case, I'm going to be using a flathead screwdriver. You can use your hand as well. So I'm going to slowly turn on the left, left valve and then slowly turn on the right valve, viewing the pressure increase. When it gets to the desired pressure, 1, 1 1.2, I'm going to turn off the filling valve and the one on the left. Always make sure you leave them both off. You don't want the system over pressurising. 